Ladies and gentlemen, integral of tangent to the fifth power x. We have two ways to do it. The first way is we write this in terms of sine and cosine. So we have sine to the fifth power over cosine to the fifth power. You can try that. But I would like to use tangent and maybe you can somehow squeeze out secant to help us out. And remember, we can only have tangent to the second power in order to squeeze out the secant squared minus one. So let's look at tangent to the fifth power s. This will be tangent to the third power x times tangent to the second power x. So that this way, this right here, we can substitute secant squared x minus one by the identity for that. And then you will see, we can of course distribute this into the parentheses, but then we have two things of the integral, and then we can just break down the integrals. The first integral is just going to be the integral of tangent to the third power x times secant squared x, and that's close that. And the second integral will be tangent to the third power minus one. So it'll be a minus integral tangent to the third power times one is going to be just tangent to the third power x dx. This right here, we can do it by u substitutions. So we'll let u equals to tangent, and then we can get immediately du is equal to secant squared x dx. So this integral is just the same as, let's take a look, integral of tangent, which is u, so we have u to the third power, and you see secant squared dx is the same as du, so we just have the integral of u to the third power du. We can integrate this, this is going to be one fourth u to the fourth power, and u is tangent x. So we have one fourth tangent to the fourth power x. That's the first integral. So we are done for the first part, one over four, tangent raised to the fourth power x. And then what's this? Integral of tangent to the third power, which we already did that. And let me just tell you what the answer is for that. Um, the answer for this, let me just put it down below here. This is going to be one half tangent square x minus ln absolute value of secant x. And you can check out my other video, maybe right here, for that, for the detailed solution for this. So, the integral of tangent to a third power is this, and I'm just going to distribute the negative into the parentheses, like that. And we have minus times that, so minus one half tangent squared x, and the minus minus becomes plus ln absolute value of secant x. And then this is it. That's the answer.